2.5 points, lines and planes. Now with the help of postulates, as you know, postulates are statements that are accepted as true without any proof. Right? So with the help of these postulates listed here, seven of them will try to understand how points, lines and planes are related. Postulate 2.1 is, through any two points there is exactly one line. So if we have two points, then you can draw only one line through these two points. So it gives you basic definition of line. A line passes through two points. If there are two points, then only one line can go through both of these points. 2.2 Through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. Now let us consider the plane of this paper. Now I have three points here. So these three points can go through only one plane and that is the plane of this paper. If you try to make any other plane pass through these points, it will not be possible. It can go through with two of them, not with the third, right? So if I have a plane which is going across, then it may go through these two, but not through the third one. So postulate 2.2 defines a plane. It says through any three non-collinear, that means they are not in a straight line, non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane, right? So we can say this is a plane which passes through or which contains three points, three non-collinear points. In our case, it is a plane of the paper. 2.3. A line contains at least two points at least right so now we are trying to know some more about line so a line may contain infinite number of points these are all the points on the line correct but at least it should be having two points then only a line is defined so first two postulates define line on a plane and now we are writing or we are trying to know more about these two things with the help of 2.3 and 2.4 postulates. 2.4 is a plane contains at least three non-collinear points. So if I have a plane there will be infinite number of points on it but minimum there should be three. Well there could be four, five, any number but minimum there should be three. 2.5 if two points lie on a plane then the entire line containing those points lie in the plane. So that is to say, if we have a plane like this, right? So it's actually, I'm drawing like a parallelogram all the planes, and that is the way it should be. So if we have two points on it, in that case, the line which contains two points will be contained in the plane also. The whole line, the entire line will be contained in the plane, right? That is what it means, 2.5. Now 2.6 and 2.7 describe about intersection of lines and planes. Now important thing here to understand is if two lines intersect, so if two lines intersect, I'm underlining that part, then their intersection is exactly one point, right? So if I have two lines here, let's say these are my two lines, and if they intersect, then their point of intersection is just one point. The last one here is, if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Remember, if two planes intersect, sometimes they may not intersect, right? That is critical to understand. Then their intersection is a line. So let me draw the plane. So let us say this is one plane, kind of plane of my paper, and there is another plane which intersects it, right? So let's say it passes through it. So that is how it intersects. So so it goes like this, that is behind it. So it just should be a straight line, and you can draw like this, right? So whenever two planes intersect, they will intersect in a line. That is what we're trying to say here. So we have seven postulates. Remember one thing, whenever we are talking about postulates, these numbers 1 to 7 are not very important, right? You have to remember them from the wordings, what they are saying. 
So have a look at it. The first one says that through two points there exist or there exists only one line. So exactly one line passes through two points. That is the first one. It is not important to remember the numbers associated over this statement, but it is very important to exactly remember what the statement is, right? So the seven statements are the first one, two points define a line, three points define a plane, a line contains at least two points, plane contains at least three points. If two points are contained in a plane, then the whole line is contained in a plane. If two lines intersect, they intersect at a point and if two planes intersect, they intersect in a line. That is how you have to remember. So in the next video, we'll summarize it. Once you understand these postulates, then we'll use them to prove theorems. I hope that will be enjoyable. Thank you and all the best.